We'll just put it in the hole, bro. Yeah? I want to. In the hole? Oh, 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 oh. oh, that is close. Bro, did that hit the pin? Oh. Hey guys, you're here with Shooter, Damien, Brad and Luke. We're here at Tiki Golf Course in Hamilton on our day off. Um, it's what we do every week to get away from rugby. Good mental refresher with a bit of competitiveness. So come along for the ride. Good parts, bud. So obviously it's important to have um, hobbies outside of rugby. Is, um, is golf your, your wee outlet? So yeah, big happy time. Happy place? My happy place, yeah. So most days off, obviously get out and have a whack. Mm -hmm. You're always there as well, and so we've got a good crew, and yeah, it's nice just to get away. And you know, it's three, four hour sort of entertainment, and um, it's a very humbling sport. Oh yeah. And what's your way of switching off? Well, this is definitely um, a way of switching off. I, I, although I don't know if it's a mental health break because sometimes I get so frustrated, but I want to snap clubs over my knee. So I, I don't know if it does mean mental health. That good. Um, but no, I love uh, getting out, touching grass, um, being out here with nature, mate, and being out here with you good buggers. Just uh, some good times with mates, so it's good stuff. Because, um, geez, we do live in a, and work in a pretty high-pressure environment every week on Saturday, the, the spotlight's on you, so it's nice to get away. Um, but you reckon be the, uh, the angriest golfer that we play with? We might be playing with one of them, I think, <laughs> in the car to here. Because <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can be quite a roller coaster out here. Is that right? Yeah, it's just whispers some, I'm hearing, some you know? boys could say they have a bit of a tantrum on the course when it's not going my way, kind of just shut up shop, but um, nah, trying to get better with it. So. Oh, I guess right. it comes down to playing more golf and, and sticking with it. So. I feel like there's much pressure that comes with professional rugby. Yeah, I guess there is a, a bit of pressure. I mean, I feel like when you're a bit younger, you um, you feel it a bit more, I guess, in terms of um, trying to make it. At the same time, it's um, I guess as you get older, you kind of kind of get used to it and um, you know how to deal with those situations. Yeah. What about you, mate? What about me? Um, I probably don't talk about it a lot, but just um, having the right support around me, um, having good friends that we we've got around here, it's um, quite lucky that we've got such a good group of lads and at Chiefs that make it easy to um, bounce off and lean on if, if things aren't going so well, but um, we've definitely been through some tough times here at the Chiefs as well, so um, learning a few things a few things through those times. But now we're obviously going a little bit better now, it's um, a little bit happier, yeah, and... happier, but there's also that pressure to keep going well and um, got to stay on the ball there, yeah. Damo's off about a three. He's a very good golfer. It's tough to take money off him too. Wow, get in. Oh, <laughs> that's the three handicapper right there. <laughs> now, I know this is this question's going to annoy you, but I think World Rugby want to know around the smile when you're goal kicking. Can you talk us through why, one, why you do it, but two, does it do you bring it out here on the golf course too? Is this, is this like a constant through life? Sort of nah, or not at all. It's uh, <laughs> more a frown when I get out on the golf course. Yeah. Just, trying to, just trying to hit a straight shot, but nah, it's, I guess in rugby, it's just a way to relax, sort of take the pressure off. But it is like going, you are going to your happy place essentially, aren't you, when yeah. you're doing it? When, yeah. you're, when you're smiling, it's trying to take the pressure off for what you're about to do? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So it's just mental trying effect. to mental es escape from the pressure, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you got to walk towards it, but golf's a different pressure. Oh yeah. Compared to uh, to the rugby field, at least in the rugby field, you, you know, you've got a bit of an idea on the golf courses. As soon as someone's around watching, it's it's a different ball game. There's a bit of similarities between goal kicking and golf. It actually, though. is the mechanics is quite similar. And you yeah. find a lot of a lot of kickers, and that obviously not everyone but play a bit of golf. It's, it's quite similar to the, 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 the mechanics. They're usually pretty sharp too, like Jordy Barrett. Jordy Barrett. He, he's. Uh, He's one guy who could easily give, give the game rugby up and go straight into a professional golf career. He's one of those annoying blokes that bloody good everything. Yeah, he's he actually. Give yeah. A go he's pretty, he's very blessed, that man, so. Oh, oh. shot. Thanks, bro. When those eyes That's are my favourite shot. On, that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's out the rough on a little bit. On like. the rough. <laughs> do you find it difficult with being in the public eye all the time? Like, how, do you, how do you handle that? Um, oh, it's not too bad. I guess you live in Hamilton, like <laughs> it's not the biggest city, but um, 
No, nah, it's obviously like I'd probably say we've got the best fan base. Like when you um, talk about the fans down here, um, they just love and breathe um, Chase Manor. So you know, most of them are pretty respectful, and um, it's pretty easy going to um, you know get around them and um, you know show them, I guess, the love that they um, they want that after coming out for a game and whatnot, and um, being gr uh, great supporters of us. So what about you? Yeah, I think it's um, I get a good buzz out of interacting with the fans, particularly the young fans, and seeing the fizz that they have. And just thinking back to when I was a young young fella and how much passion I had for rugby. I still do have it, but um, seeing all the um, even just going over and seeing the Waikato players and Chiefs, any chance got to see a Chief player like it was Christmas pretty much. So um, I try to give that back to them as much as I can, and you get a buzz from them as well. And I mean, at the end of the day, is they're going to be the next, the future of Next rugby year. and yeah, try and grow the game as much as you can and it's, I think there's no better place to do it than with, with the young um, youth of the game. 100%. What would you, you know, you, you find more pressure lining up a box kick down the rugby field or, or, or teeing off on the first in front of a few, a few of the local uh, members here at Tiki? Look, I think I'm way more nervous over a golf chip because it's not something that I'm, uh, and I feel like I'm an expert at. Whereas I guess on the rugby field, like we we train all the time, we do it all the time, so um, it's almost automatic. It's not quite like goal kicking, which when you've got everyone's looking at you, but definitely feel feel much more comfortable over a box kick than than here. Oh, oh great part! Well done. Who's like the most calm rugby player? Doesn't have to be a golfer actually. Just calm rugby player that you've played with. You could probably take a few things from. You think of anyone? None of us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> Especially not him. <laughs> uh, he's pretty calm. It's top of my luck. I like Bodie's pretty, yeah. usually pretty calm. Yeah. yeah. Don't see um, him get rattled too often. Nah, you don't see him get rattled too often. He's, there's a few players you can sort of get under their skin, but I'm, I'm not one to do that. It's better to try and focus on my own. Oh, you wouldn't say Dan Coles? Ah, uh, Colsey's, <laughs> Colsey's uh, what a man. Yeah, great oh, man, Colsey. Oh, great. He's definitely, uh, he ain't calm whatsoever. <laughs> he's, uh, he's out there to get you. So. Yeah. What team do you think playing against the most puts, puts us, yourself, or the team under the most pressure, do you think? Um, this is obviously a very good footy teams around at the moment. Um, that game against France at uh, Stade de France oh, yeah. in Paris a couple of years ago, that was um, that was uh, a pretty high pressure environment. They're, they're playing some really good footy at the moment, obviously leading to the World Cup in France. Um, they'll be pretty good there, so great challenge playing up against a, a French team that are going pretty good. Um, so I'd say them at the moment, yeah. You? Um, yeah, I've, that, that, that tough. The, the South African boys are pretty mm, tough, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, Pretty brutal, obviously. Us two being quite small, yeah. yeah we, we obviously cop a fair bit of the pressure from from those bigger lads. So big heart, though, mate. Oh, we try, mate. We try. So that they're always pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth slump. Oh, you yeah. got a bit of side spin for it. Yeah, great shot. That's a confident oh, cut, mate. That's real nice. That's it, Bertie. Oh, well done, mate. Tweet, 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 tweet.